Greetings and salutations, Pastor Spouse. In other words, howdy. Today we're going to talk about the strength of God. You know, God is all-powerful. And there's a word we use for that. It's omnipotent. Can you say that? Why don't you give it a try? Well, the Bible says what is humanly impossible is possible for God. Now, to think about how strong God is, let's think about some things that are just impossible for us to do. Are you ready? Like, have you ever tried lifting a car? Uh -oh. Careful, you don't want to hurt your back. And if you see me turning green, stand back. I think I saw that happen to the Incredible Hulk once. Nope. Impossible. Or have you tried licking your elbow? Now I think that may be the best impression of a camel I've ever seen. What do you think? Impossible. Oh, here we go. Surely it would be possible for me to hide behind this branch, wouldn't it? I mean, you can't see me, I'm sure. Oh, I know what you're thinking. That's impossible. Oh, here we go. I'm sure I can squeeze into this box. If I can manage, who knows, maybe you could shop for me on Amazon. Your very own pastor as a pal delivered to your home. No, no, that's impossible. Well, I know. I'll, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. I can do it. I'll huff and I'll... <coughs> well... <coughs> Maybe not. <sighs> oh, now that's more like it. Perhaps I can blow down this house. It's more my size. Take cover, birds. It's a human tornado. Now then, here's a possibility. I will pass through this sheet of paper. What do you think? Can I do it? I mean, pass through from one side to the other. Now let's give it the old schoolboy try now, shall we? Oh... Oh, maybe my head's just too big. It doesn't seem to fit or want to pass through. Maybe I could punch my way through or perhaps get some assistance from a pair of scissors. If I just cut this way and that way. Oh, you know, Jesus said all things are possible for the one who believes. Now, there are many things we can't do in our own strength. But what about relying on and trusting on the strength of God? Because not only is God all-powerful, omnipotent, He's all-knowing. He knows everything. And there's a word for that, too. It's omniscient. Try saying that one. <laughs> well, we understand something that the Bible tells us that's quite amazing. And that is that we can trust God to guide us and provide for us because of the great things He has done. Do you know, in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, God told his prophet Ezekiel to preach to a valley of dry bones, human skeletons. He obeyed, and as the word of God was proclaimed, those bones came together and flesh appeared on them. And in other words, God brought the bones to life. Many things are humanly impossible until we know what to do, until we know the steps to take with those steps involving trusting in God to guide us. Now watch and listen carefully. What seems to be impossible, humanly impossible, can be very possible with God. If we trust in Him, He can lead us in doing some amazing things. We just may need to take a different approach and look at things more carefully. Many things are humanly impossible until we know what to do, until we know the steps to take with those steps involving trusting in God to guide us, and with a different perspective and relying upon the strength and the wisdom of God, we just may be able to do what we once thought was impossible. Let's give it a try. What do you think? Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, oh, here we go. Ta-da! You see, I was able to pass through that piece of paper. I just had to know how to go about it. 
in this case, I had to know where to cut along the lines. So when we think about all the amazing things God has done, we know that we can trust Him to help us figure out and do things that would be humanly impossible. But the Apostle Paul said that he could do all things through the strength of Christ. So remember, pastors, pals, what is humanly impossible is possible for God. Of course, now that doesn't mean we can just run out and try to pick up a car or blow down a house. But there will be some incredible things that you can do in life by relying upon the amazing strength of God. Oh, then you can stop trying to lick your elbow now if you haven't done so already. See you soon.